right, guys, in other action, Marquette held off Utah State by a point yesterday. This is Wesley Matthews with the turnaround jumper, and Marquette was up early. Jared Quayle from behind the arc for three, and Utah State was up three, but back came Marquette. Gerald McNeil, the drive, the layup. They beat Utah State by a score of 58-57. So the Golden Eagles advance to face Missouri tomorrow afternoon. And joining us now live from Boise is Marquette head coach Buzz Williams and his senior guard Wesley Matthews. Gentlemen, thanks for taking the time to join us. Buzz, this time of year, we're always talking about how the players are going to respond to pressure and to, and to the tournament. How about you as a first-year head coach? How have you been able to approach this whole thing? I've just tried to handle it the same way I have every other game. I think every possession is monumental, uh, whether it's in league play or postseason play. We're thankful to be here. Every possession was absolutely critical yesterday. Uh, coach Moore was one of the best coaches in the country, and his team was well prepared, so we were lucky to uh, still be able to be here today. Wesley, I wanted to ask you a little bit. Since you guys lost Dominic James, your play and production uh, has, has kind of gone off a little bit. Talk about the difference in how you have to play now as opposed to when you had him on the floor. You know, you can't replace a, a guy like Dominique, and he makes the game so much easier for myself, Jarrell, you know, the whole team, Lazar. And so, I mean, our production has gone down a little bit in a sense where me, Jarrell and I kind of took it upon ourselves to, to make the plays that Dominique did and try to fill Dominique's shoes where instead of just trying to take a little bit of what he does and just keep doing what we do, the, the reason why we got to the success that we've had, well, Jarrell and myself, and, and just try to do a little bit more of that. I mean, I think we tried to put our team on our backs too much and too early, and that's not what we needed as a team. Buzz, it's, it's interesting. This is your first year there, but it's almost like you've had to coach two different teams since you lost him. Yeah. What adjustments have you had to make as a coach? Well, I think it's been an ongoing adjustment. I think you're exactly correct. Uh, you know, we played, we were 12-2 and two when Dominique got hurt in the Big East, and then that was 10 days before the regular season was over. And so today will be our uh, 13th practice without Dominique. Yesterday was our seventh game without him. And it's been an ongoing transition, transformation in regards to how to be efficient, not only on offense, but how to also be efficient on defense. He was an important cog to us, not only offensively, but also defensively. So we've continued to adapt. I think we've gotten better and became more efficient uh, with each passing day, whether we were in a game or in a practice, because our, game, our guys have been accountable to what they need to do in order to give us a chance to, for success. Hey, Buzz, I'm sure you really enjoyed that win over Utah State right up until the moment you started watching tape of Missouri. Tell me what you saw uh, while you scouted the Tigers and how you're going to approach their full court pressure. Yeah, I think they're one of the best teams in the country. Uh, you know, obviously the success that they had in the Big 12, that speaks very highly of the caliber of the league uh, that the Big 12 is. I think Coach Anderson has done a phenomenal job within the complexion of their roster. They have nine high major players. They're averaging 81 points a game. They lead the country in assists. They're second in the country in assist to turnover ratio. And so we'll have our hands full. And obviously within how they play, they score a lot of points in the first 10 seconds of every possession. So we gotta get back in transition and limit their possessions uh, from a transition standpoint. And then we've gotta be able to handle their pressure. Uh, and they change what kind of pressure they have almost every media timeout. So we've gotta do a great job of handling their pressure, but also making sure that we get great possessions offensively, because you can't give them away. For, you can't give away free possessions against a team like Missouri. So Wesley, in 25 words or less, tell us about this Marquette team. Is it a loose bunch, or do you have to concentrate more on being more serious? Uh, how do you approach things? I don't know. It's hard to put a word on. You know what kind of team we are. I think I think Buzz will attest to that. We're loose at times. We're we're intense at times. But I mean. We're, we're a comfortable group, we're a confident group, we're a tough group, and we've been through a lot. I mean, we're battle-tested, so I think that gives us a lot of flexibility as far as being loose, being, being you know, on point, being, being testy, being edgy, because, I mean, we've, we've seen almost everything. I mean, I can't think of anything that we haven't seen as a group, so I think we're, we're comfortable in whatever position that we're in. Hey, we'll go along with that. Wesley, Coach, thank you both for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. We appreciate the opportunity. You bet, guys. We'll see you along the road to the Final Four. We remind you,